Willow Brandt family is exploiting their oldest daughter, Everly, and the hate she is getting is out of control, which is caused by her parents, Cole and Savannah LeBrant. The whole point of being a parent is to protect your children and to love them and to raise them the right way. And you're not even raising your own children. Your nannies are raising your children for you. You are making millions of dollars off of putting your children on the internet and exploiting them for pre- to see. This family channel with over 13 million subscribers is in some major drama right now and it involves their 10 year old daughter. This channel may seem a bit familiar to you guys as this channel who consists of the two parents Cole and Savannah have been in some pretty embarrassing controversies over these last few years. We all know that of all the niches that exist on social media, family influencers are one of the most controversial and for obvious reasons. In the case of the LeBrand family, Cole and Savannah have opened what appears to be every aspect of their lives and their children's lives to 13 million subscribers on their YouTube. You guys may know of some of the controversies these two have been involved in over the course of their YouTube career. From faking a fire evacuation to thinking that clickbaiting their followers into thinking their two-year-old daughter had cancer would be a good idea. These situations they brought themselves into definitely backfired on them and it seems like their channel has taken a massive hit as well. I mean, the LeBrant fam used to get at least a couple million views per video and their most recent video has just gotten around 300,000 views. But it seems like their channel is going to continue taking hits because the controversies these two are getting into seem to be never ending and this time it involves their 10 year old daughter Everlay. Back in February, Cole and Savannah announced that they were suddenly moving to Tennessee. Before this, they'd been living in California with the kids their whole life, so people were a bit curious about the drastic move, especially since Savannah's daughter, Everlay, was grieving the passing of her biological father, Tommy, since he had passed away just a year ago, unfortunately. People were really upset with Cole and Savannah at the time as well because at the time of Tommy's passing, they were still constantly shoving a camera down Everly's face, leaving her no room to mourn the passing of her father. They were just back into work mode, filming as normal. People were just like, Cole and Savannah rarely allowed time for Everly to grieve as they were back into filming mode shortly afterwards, and Everly was only around nine years old. What made fans even more worried for Everly was the fact that Cole and Savannah decided to make a huge life-changing decision while she was still grieving. That decision was to move all the way to Tennessee. For a while, it was rumored that these two moved to Tennessee because it may have had to do something with the laws changing with regards to child labor and influencer kids. But shortly afterwards, all over Reddit, it was rumored that they moved all the way to Tennessee for their kids' careers. People pointed out posters in recent screenshots of their vlogs that showcased some promos of the LeBrant fam's daughters in some movies. And it definitely seemed like the kids' opportunities in growing their careers had to be a part of why they moved to Tennessee. Well, it seems like all the rumors that people had about them moving because of their child's careers to some extent has some truth to it because just a couple of months after these two have moved to Tennessee they decided to have their 10 year old daughter launch a music video for millions to see. On September 4th Everly of the LeBrant fam released a song called Like Taylor Swift and it was clearly inspired by Taylor Swift. The music video was released on Everly and her father's channel and it currently has over a million views. Some people think this was just a lighthearted music video that Everly herself decided to do, but that's not what most people think. In fact, not only is Everly getting a lot of backlash at the young age that she is, but her parents are also getting backlash, saying that she's going to regret this in the future and that it would affect her mentally, but also people are calling out Savannah and Cole saying that they're the ones who made her sing all this and come up with the lyrics and the whole concept of this music video. Now, the music video in its Itself isn't really inappropriate in any sense, but the main thing is that people are comparing this video to Rebecca Black's Friday, which we all know how that ended up playing out. Rebecca released her music video at such a young age, and years later down the road, she did explain how much that music video had affected her life in a negative way, and how much all the backlash really got to her as she got older. People all over TikTok flocked to the comments of the LeBrant family's profile pages, particularly Everly's dad, 
God to mock the song and its lyrics and also point out that it was filled with lyrics that Taylor Swift herself uses in her songs and some people are even wondering if Taylor Swift is going to end up suing them because of this. In the song, Everly talks about moving to Tennessee and finding out the girl that she was always meant to be and she also includes a bunch of lyrics from a bunch of popular Taylor Swift songs. People in the comments all over TikTok have been saying things like, she wrote literally all the lyrics are Taylor Swift's. I mean, she didn't really write it though. She just added together Taylor Swift's songs, lol. The autotune makes my ears bleed. This song sucks. People even coming for her dad as he was promoting the heck out of this song and even replaced his TikTok bio promoting the song. Now, I do have to say it is very sad that Everly is unfortunately getting a lot of backlash for this and she is only 10. She probably isn't aware of all the comments, but as we've seen with the Rebecca Black, the backlash and effect this all has of her being publicly displayed this way and all the backlash she's been getting could definitely traumatize her in the long run, as we have seen it with many other people on social media in the past. Now, when I tell you guys the backlash got so bad, even Jojo Siwa came forward to defend Everlay and all the backlash she was getting. I mean, this just goes to show the parents' part in this, as if they really cared about their daughter and her protection and privacy and her happiness, they probably wouldn't have put her up on the internet like that to begin with. I mean, Jojo Siwa herself has to come forward and defend her. She said, saying all this with love. As the now 20 year old who once was the 10 year old growing up in front of the internet, I want to say to anyone that's been saying negative things about this song or Everly herself, lose your ego and grow up. First, this song is adorable and insanely catchy. And second, bullying isn't cool. It's not funny and it's not trendy ever, especially when it's directed at a 10 year old and her first song by people much older than her some even adults. If you've posted something knocking this, you should be embarrassed. I also, without a doubt, can say that Everly is one of the kindest and hardest working kids I've ever had to joy of getting to be around, and she absolutely deserves all the love and success she has. There's been so many clips of poor Everly getting mocked all over TikTok for this song, people coming at her for the autotune, and just overall comparing it to the next Friday of Rebecca Black. And these clips have been getting millions of views, you guys. Recently, the LeBrant fam also made a video talking about why they decided to move to Tennessee. As we all know, the LeBrant fam is known for clickbaiting for the wrong reasons, and I want you guys to pay attention to the title of this one. The title of this vlog was The Real Reason We Moved, dot dot dot, our kids dating. Now, right off the bat, people thought that this was aimed to as the very ending was very uncalled for and people were saying things like they could have just titled this video the real reason we moved as this was just a Q&A video where they were answering a bunch of questions and then towards the end they talked about what age they would allow their kids to start dating but when you look at this title right off the bat it gives a very real insinuation and that's what people were super pissed off about they absolutely aimed that title at priors and pedophiles because it gets them views. They clickbaited their video to make it sound like their children were dating each other. And you know that that's exactly how they meant for it to sound. Because pals and predators would click on that video and they get money from it. I don't like the Doherty Dozen, but the LeBrant fam is on a whole nother level. Do not sit here and talk about how Christian you are wearing your Jesus Loves You t-shirt. You don't get to give Christianity a bad name because what you're doing is not Christian because God would not want you exploiting your children for money. God wouldn't have done that. The whole point of being a parent is to protect your children and to love them and to raise them the right way. And you're not even raising your own children. You're nannies. Anyways, guys, this has been what's been going on with the LeBrant fam and them getting backlash for the controversy that they've allowed their daughter to get into. It seems like they haven't done anything about their daughter getting bullied, they haven't deleted the video or anything, and Everly is continuing to get backlash all over social media for that music video. I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.